everybody. Richard Maxwell here. Welcome to episode 30, 29? 29. 29. Episode 29 of the Arcadia High School Creative Musical Arts and Sciences CMAS podcast. It is first week back from spring break. We're in fourth quarter. Pretty cool. We got a great episode. Got a couple of segments. I think we got some new stuff coming in today uh, on this episode. Really, really happy you are here joining us and watching. Maddie is especially excited. Hey, Maddie. How's it going? There she is. All righty. Anyway, thanks for supporting these students in this program, and we hope you enjoy the episode. Yes, sir. Welcome back to another podcast episode, everybody. I'm your host, Lily True, here today. Um, so I guess I'm... I haven't done this in a while. I haven't run cams and audio in a bit. But anyways, welcome back to another podcast episode here. I'm today with Paul, Noah, and Noah. Yo. Um, how's it going, guys? What are you here to talk to me wi- about today? Noah scheduled this podcast, the middle uh, one. Hi. Uh, wait, I did? Yes, you did. Oh, I, I, okay. Uh, oh, yes, yes, <laughs> I did. I remember, yes, in passing. Um, <laughs> well, um, Rat King, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Can you uh, tell us a bit what Rat King is? Well, uh, I wanted to make faster, almost metal music, because um, women, we specialize more in alternative, mm-hmm. and I wanted a little bit of a heavier sound, and uh, I know Paul can groove, yeah, really mm-hmm. groove, you know, yeah. really get the shimmy beat going. Um, so I, I I wanted to head it with this guy because Paul's a really chill dude. Yeah, um, you know, <laughs> Noah is also a really chill dude. He's probably one of the easiest to work with people in the entire program that I know of. Um, I agree. Yeah, and you know, I know he can really get down to it and kick out the jams. Yeah. So, uh, so could you tell us? Uh, so I believe Paul, you play drums. Noah, you play guitar. Yes. And Noah, you play bass. Um, I believe you were looking for a second guitar player. Yes, uh, it's kind of an open ad to any uh, people here at Arcadia. Uh, we need a second guitarist if yep. your influences align with like Motorhead, Metallica, Diamond Head, Megadeth. You know, if you like that kind of stuff, please contact one of us. <laughs> uh, we um, desperately any need a second. requirements per se? Uh, that being able to play, play <laughs> in time. Mm-hmm. Being able to play in time. That's it. Basically, you just got to breathe. You got to be able to breathe. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, can you tell me how this band was? I know you said it was mostly you wanting to have a heavier sound, but how did you like approach the others? Like, how did this band start? Well, it, it really started with Paul, uh, Paul and I, because uh, we both enjoyed jamming together, and we never really took it like super seriously, like oh, let's write stuff. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we got more into writing, and then uh, Paul suggested, was that you? Um, what did I suggest? A b- suggested picking up a, ba- uh, a bass player. Yes. Yeah. I did mm-hmm. suggest that. And you suggested Noah, right? Yeah. Yeah, Paul suggested <laughs> Noah. He was your reference. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, so how'd you get the, okay, I didn't know your actual band name was Rat King on the live stream, and I did the announcements, so sorry guys, I just called you guys Two Noahs and Paul, That's oh. okay. um, but, <laughs> Two Noahs and Paul, but can you tell me how you got Rat King? Uh, that's a pretty interesting name. <laughs> um, well, I saw a picture of a Rat King, which a Rat King is a, a bunch of rats with their tails tied together. And I thought, wow, Rat King sounds like a really gnarly name, especially. My with a first bunch thought of rats wasn't gross. Together. My first thought was, you like in that one scene in the original Cinderella movie? Oh yes, yes. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that that'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Paul, you were experimenting with AI, uh, getting a uh, photo of a Rat King. Yeah. Um. Apparently, Rat King is explicit. So. Right? Is that what we like yeah, found and then out? We yeah. We tried using space between yeah, Rat and yeah, King. Yeah. 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 Mm. And then it was just like, it was just like a rat with a crown, I think. You know, a little cutie rat. Yeah, with it, was, it, was a pretty cu- it was a pretty cute rat, yeah. yeah. So can you tell me, um, where do you guys rehearse? From what I've heard, uh, it's the shed. It is yes, the, shed. the shed. The shed. Soon to be shed squared. Shed squared, yeah. Shed squared. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's going to be cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I heard the clip down chart. We got into it a bit a little last time. Yeah, Am so. Am I still on yellow? You are still on yellow. He yeah. hasn't clipped up. He hasn't had good behavior. Yeah, the band, his his ba- woman hasn't voted to clip him up yet, so oh. I don't know, man. Betrayed hey. by your own bandmates, that's actually, like, really rough. Hey, yeah. once you get down to no Skill resus, issue. That's why I have Rat What's everyone else on? What do you mean? Oh, I am on green. 
Really? I was That's on. That's such a surprise as the owner of the clip chart. Shit, I was on Blue, but <laughs> then uh, then another band that I'm in shut me down because I messed up. Oh, no arms. Or does he not even have a clip yet? I don't think we I haven't think given have you a clip yet. yet. Oh, we gotta get you're you not accepted into purple. the pack. No. No. You're not. Dude, you're going on. You're going on <laughs> super <laughs> scholar, bro. Super <laughs> Thank you, Veritas, for the clip chart. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you got it from Veritas? Yeah. Oh yeah, because your mom's a teacher. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um. So, could we be expecting any music from you soon? Yes. Yes. Least this Friday. Uh, we'll live stream? Yes, live stream. Big debut. Yes. Um, that's the one we've been we've been working on for a, a, a little bit. Yes. Uh, probably like an hour and a half. Yep. Two hours of mm-hmm. practice. That's about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then still more multiple stuff. and much more effort than I would ever put into anything. Yes. Um, and, and there, there's there's more songs coming out eventually. I just have to get off my lazy bones and actually write. That's fair. Yeah. All right, gentlemen. As we are running out of time, I'd like to say thank you for joining me on the podcast and letting me interview you about your band. I haven't had one of these in a long time. So thank you so much. Um, That was my segment with Paul, Noah, and what's your name again? Noah. (laughs) Noah. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) I want to keep doing this. We just spiked into the red. Um, My eardrums are going to get All right, Noah, come on, join. Thank you so much for watching. Watching? Watching. Bye. Watching. Bye. Wait. Welcome back to another podcast episode, everybody. I'm your host, Luke Drew, here today. Woo. Hi. Hi. I'm finally back with the regulars for the first time in. Like a month. In a month. (laughs) Sorry, guys. I've been busy. Um, (laughs) Well, so here today I'm with Jason, Nico, and Cameron. Yeah. I'm just kidding. That's Jason, that's Cameron, and that's Nico, and that's Lily. So big round of applause for Lily to help him produce this segment. Thanks, Lily. You're welcome. Um, Today, gentlemen, I'm aware that we are talking about features. Yep. Yeah, do you guys want to go first on this? Okay, so uh, me personally, I think that uh, features in music, they serve, at least in like rap and hip-hop, which is mm-hmm. like what I'm specifically thinking of when mm-hmm. I hear feature, I think that they serve the purpose of not – I don't think they can save a bad song, but they can definitely like improve it. Yeah, they can they can improve a bad song, but they know they can also take an already good song and just like take elevate it to level. like legendary. Yeah, but they can also decrease. The they song. can also ruin yes. a song. Can yeah. you give us a few examples? Well, one of my personal favorite features of all time is. Uh, I'm I guess blanking. it's not his I'm favorite. Blanking. Oh, blanking. I guess oh, it's your favorite. Yet you can't even. I just can't think <laughs> of any. Poser. Poser. What about when Eminem sang on a Renegade on, with Jay Z? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think I think British there for a sec. Whoa. Um, I think I love Taylor Swift, but oh. that oh. Ice Spice oh. feature Jeez. was not it. I. The I Spice oh, feature yeah, on the no. Taylor Swift song, I didn't really like it. I felt like it was more like they are friends. They are like there's they they hang out, but I personally feel like it was more of a publicity stuff. Oh brother, yeah, this guy yeah. stinks. I no, just I right. feel like I Spice's type of rap does not fit that beat. Yeah, no. that girl was fighting for her life. I mean, does I Spice's <laughs> type of rap really fit any beat? Step by step, from no, time I Spice. To have you seen the video when I when they were like performing that and Ice Spice just looked so awkward and yeah. like had like the, no idea what she was really? doing? Really, Taylor was singing. Have you seen that? No, there's she only performed with her once. No stage. It's presence. really fun. I think I don't know. I haven't. I saw it on a glitchy live stream, guys. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> did did I? Uh, it was in the New York Stadium, I believe. Yeah, I think one of my favorite features of all time. Can you guess where this is going? If you mention Hillary Duff. Mm. You're off the podcast for life. <laughs> I don't oh. think anyone heard the crack of your knuckles. Uh, well, man. I my <laughs> knuckles crack. crack. Uh, but my favorite feature of all time, uh-uh. drum roll please. Uh, my favorite feature of all time, ooh, ooh, is uh, Snoop Dogg on California Girls. Snoop Dogg and California Girls. Also, uh, Eminem in the Hillary Duff song. Okay, so. Oh my god! The thing about that Snoop Dogg feature is, I think that that song is atrocious. However, okay, 
Okay, that is get, your opinion. Get out of here. It is my opinion. The door's right there. All right. Kick the can. <laughs> Kick the can. <laughs> Skibbity on out of here. Nico, come back. Cameron. No. <laughs> no. No. Anyways, Bam. continue, Bam. guys. Okay. Uh, as I was saying, I don't like that song, but Snoop Dogg's feature is pretty good. It perfectly fits the song. <laughs> Noah's staring at us. Um, it's a good feature. Guys, I think he wants to make an appearance. I, yeah. Maybe. Uh, he will in the next segment. He probably Behind the will. scenes of recording. Okay. Um, what are some other features we can think of? I like um, Eminem when he partnered with Pink for a couple of songs. I think it was Revenge? Don't quote me on that. I think that's what it is. I'm not 100% sure. I gotta say, um, Eminem and Exhibit on that song, What's the Difference by mm-hmm. Dr. Dre, that's like one of the hardest songs imaginable. And it's like pretty much, like Dr. Dre's part's great, mm-hmm. obviously, but if those features weren't on there, it wouldn't be even remotely as good mm-hmm. as it is. I think another good feature, or just like, I wouldn't consider it a feature because both of them sing an equal amount of time. Um, the Boy is Mine by Brandy. But what's really funny, I don't know, the other girl who sings on it. Poser! Poser! <laughs> just kidding, I don't even know that song. You guys don't know The Boy is Mine? No. Also, another thing, uh, I think Jason might know what I'm talking about if he has good taste. And if he's not a complete poser, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But um, in my opinion... Brandy and Monica. I'm so sorry, everyone out there. I am so... De- I apologize deeply for that. Anyways, continue. Uh, I don't know if it really counts as a feature because it's really just a collaboration. But there's this one song with Notorious B.I.G. and Bone Thugs and Harmony mm-hmm. called uh, Notorious Thugs. And it's genuinely like... The reason I say that it's kind of a stretch to call it a feature is because if you don't have Notorious B.I.G., you don't have a song. If you don't have Bone Thugs and Harmony, you don't have a song. Mm -hmm. It's like they both play an equal part, but the point is it's an amazing track. Mm -hmm. It's great. I'm looking one up now. Uh, Nas Illmatic? Yeah. uh, Oh, One Love featuring Q-Tip from Nas's debut album. You had to look that up on Spotify. (laughs) I kind of forgot who Q-Tip was. I, I, okay, I feel, I feel kind of bad. He's one of the greatest producers of all time, but I forgot him. I can't think of any features, so I feel like I'm. Just what about when him. when Rihanna sang with Eminem? That was oh, the worst was moment maybe ever. My <laughs> shirt is lit. Thank you. It's offspring, guys. Mm-hmm. I love I, the offspring. I'm an offspring. That probably you guys once again do not know. I feel like people. Okay, this is a bad room to mention songs I know features in because you guys don't listen to the same genre as I do. So, there's this one song, The Last Time by Taylor Swift, and then I forgot the last name of the guy, but it's featuring Gary something. I have been listening to it on repeat. Their voices complement each other so well. Their harmonies are great. Oh, and Gary Coleman. No. You I sound don't. like Mr. Martin. I was going to oh, say I that. Oh, I have it. Just going on and on. I, oh, why, thank you. I think we all sound like Maxwell. Yeah. Right oh, it's Gary yeah. Lightbody Gary of Lightbody Snow Patrol. Of Snow Patrol. I, I don't know what that is. Oh, oh. I love Why are you no. on Instagram? Well, because I had to look up. I, I, I just remembered one of the greatest collaborations of all time. You have time. to look everything We're up, Kim. You don't. <laughs> no, 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 so even greater. Limp Biscuit, Eminem, right. As we're and slowly Snoop running Dog. out of time on this segment, gentlemen. Um, Any last notes? I think we can make a part two out of this. Definitely. Dude, yeah. Yeah. we're talking about, yeah, yeah, we're talking yeah, yeah. about like four songs. I'll do my songs, studying. Yeah. Then, I like, barely spoke in this one. Um, Off topic rambling and gibber jabber. Yeah, jibber jabber. I'm just watching. (laughs) Um, All right. Once again, thank you to Lily for producing this segment, making sure our camera works perfectly well. Um, I'd like to do a shout out to Ava, who sits behind there. Ava! Thanks, Ava, for emotional support. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Who sits there and listens to how the podcast is made. Um, Anyways, thank you to the regulars for joining me once again in a long time. Um, And thank you guys for watching. See you all next time. Bye! Bye! Hi, welcome back to another podcast episode, everybody. I'm your host, Lily True, here today. First of all, quick thank you to Lily for running cameras today. And then thank you to our mewers of the day. That's what the regulars got regulars. You're now the mewers. Um, That is, that's Paul and Noah. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, This is actually a last minute segment. Earlier today, fun fact in the like behind the scenes world. Earlier today, we recorded a segment called uh, we recorded we recorded a segment um, for Rat King, aka their band. Um, let's talk about some of your favorite inspirational bands today, guys. 
Oh, let's go. Can I start? Yes, of course, go ahead. Paul. All right, all right, all right, all right. I like, uh, I'm, I'm a pretty, I wouldn't say a big fan, but I'm a pretty big fan of, uh. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me, let me guess. ELO. She did guess it, yeah. <laughs> yes. Electric Light Orchestra. Um, yeah, I'm, I just, I just. Can like you name a couple music. popular Pretty songs? Cool. Oh, you want me to name a, a popular <laughs> song by, ele- <laughs> by Electric Light Orchestra? I wonder. And the song All that right. you happen to like? Oh, the song that I like by Electric Light Orchestra. Um, it's uh, smells like Teen Spirit. <laughs> no, it's Mr. Oh, Blue yeah, Sky. Oh yeah, that one. That one. That you one. know that one by Electric Light Orchestra? It's Enter Sandman. <laughs> um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun fact: When me cute. and Grayson went around playing "Guess That Tune," I didn't know half the songs quite yet, um, and so he played "Sandman," and I didn't know what the answer was. I just know the girl got it wrong, so I was like, "Smells like Teen Spirit," and I got yelled at. Um, <laughs> well, it's, 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 it's a little rough. Yeah, it's yeah, a little rough. Kind of rough. Um, yeah, I, yes. like, I like Electric Light Orchestra. Mm-hmm. I like the drummer. I don't even know his name or her name. Uh, I just <laughs> like I like the style that they play. It's pretty. Well, cool. you're gonna go to the concert, so you'll find out. Yes, I'm gonna bring a giant sign that says, "Please let me play drums for Mr. Blue Sky," <laughs> and they're gonna let me play drums. All right, you you guys will see. You they guys actually will know there. Paul personally. They do. Yeah, yeah. me me and uh, me and Jeff Lynn, we go way back. <laughs> we were beefing in the second grade, actually. <laughs> no. Was he the teacher? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, I wonder. I wonder why he had access to second graders. No, 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 no. We were we're we're, we're the same school. age. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, okay. So I you get are it now. How old, Paul? Uh, sixteen. And how old's Jeff Lynn? <laughs> sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, what are some inspirational bands to you? Uh, well, Nirvana really got me into rock a few years ago, and um. As of recent, it's been a whole lot of Megadeth that I've been listening to. Mm-hmm. And a name like Megadeth is what inspired me to have a band called Rat King. Because I, I thought think it it's was funky. I thought it was the circle of the rats with their tails well, together. Yeah, it was it was <laughs> the it was that and the the Megadeth name because the origin of that name comes from like a newspaper clipping. Mm-hmm. I was like, Oh, I'll just name the band something I saw. Yes. It's better than just like making something up that's random. It's better than Metallica. It's it's better than just making up a word. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. A singular word. Just um, Lily, what word. are some bands you like listening to? This um, sounds like a "What are you listening to?" segment. We had to film those today. Clearly, recently it's been Radiohead. I don't know why, yeah. but well, maybe it's been maybe, maybe it was because of the presentation. Huh? The presentation we had to do. I don't know. We had to recently do a presentation on any artist of our choosing. I did. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Don't worry, he didn't I did Beyonce either. with uh, my friend Peyton. Beyonce? Oh, yeah. Yes. I would have done Ice Spice. <laughs> Ice Spice. Gra- Ice Spice. Gra- Ice Spice. Gra- 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 Karma is your checks by the bounce. <laughs> What'd you do for the, what am I listening to, Paul? Um, Me and Coral did a uh, Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. Yeah. Mm, I think, nice. yeah. And then, like, it was basically, uh, if it plays in this segment, which it probably won't, it was just Coral talking about how she liked the album and me going, yeah, mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I agree. Have you listened to the whole album? No. <laughs> <laughs> the album's good. I have it on vinyl. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Noah, what did you do for What Am I Listening To? Well, um, I have, I had Moises next to me for that. And uh, for those who don't know the wonderful man, the myth, the legend, Moises, Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a big Metallica fan. Big, a lot of M's in his life. You know, mythical man himself. Um, mythical so man Moises. <laughs> yeah, mythical man Moises. Um, you know, being the the, I wouldn't call myself a huge thrash connoisseur, but the the angry music connoisseur that I am. Um, we only could really settle on the first album because it was just enough heaviness. Um, and yeah, we chose uh, uh, mm-hmm. Kill 'Em All, mm-hmm. and yeah. Um, a lot of yapping on that. By no surprise, I did Taylor Swift because I put my playlist on shuffle because I didn't know what I was listening to recently. And uh, the first thing that popped up was uh, The Way I Loved You by Taylor Swift. So that's what I did. Oh, That'll do it. <laughs> uh, but what, are you lis- what am I listening to is actually a p- pretty cool thing. You get to see all the different artists people in CMAS listen to. 
awesome. Did you put Paul and I's up there? I have that not way it makes been sense. sent it. That's um, rough. I edit the podcast this week, and I have not been sent the segment. Oh, oh uh, me and Coral? Yeah. Or any of them. Or any well, no, oh, I've been sent ha- some of them. I think we're doing it bit by bit. Alrighty. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a really cool way you can learn about uh, different musicians and things we like. I mean, the posters out there. I mean, I feel like we should bring in more posters, personally. Same. Yes. Ooh, I remember. I Keep going. Okay. Uh, for my art final, not my art final, but it was an art project that I had. Mm-hmm. I had to uh, draw like it was. It was a weird. I forget what the project was, but I decided to draw shrimp for it. So I just drew four shrimp, but like in different colors, and then I uh, taped it on the wall, and it stayed for like the rest of the year. And <laughs> then uh, over the summer, it was just gone. It just disappeared. I'm, so oh. I'm sorry to hear that, Paul. Yeah, did you know? their name? Back. Did you know if you eat too much shrimp, you'll get sick? Do you know shrimps are pretty rich? Paul, shrimps are rich. Shrimps are pretty rich. I think I turned pink. <laughs> yeah, you might turn pink. <laughs> oh. Their names were Douglas, Scotty, Bob, and Bill. He totally just named those right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was giving him time. I was giving him time. <laughs> but <laughs> speaking of bands and your art project, didn't you mention a little earlier that you drew the album cover for the Mr. For Blue Skies plan? For, yeah, Electric Light Orchestra. Um, that was also an art project. Hi, so man. He allows us to do album cover stuff. Well, that's because he's like, wait. Oh, he's out there, man. Interesting. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> he's he's in his vibe. He's far out, bro. I he's always like pass by guy. his classroom, and he's always playing Taylor Swift, so he's on my good side. I mean, oh, I, I like it that he plays like old music, like <laughs> like Godzilla by Blue Oyster Cult. One time, and uh, he was playing Taylor Swift, so I switched it to Mr. Blue Sky. And <laughs> <laughs> yep. I approve of that. I I don't know that. He wasn't here today. He just vanished. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Lily. Well, on any last minute notes, as we're running out of time here, gentlemen, and Lily. (laughs) No! (laughs) Um, Anything you want to say about some of the bands you mentioned today? Yes. Actually, you go first. I've been no, you, you, you go, oh, Paul. Really? You go, Paul. Okay, well yes. Paul's I just going to say, please notice me! <laughs> please let me play the drums! That, that is, uh, I was, I was going to say something related to that, yeah. Um, but not anymore. Stole his thunder. Oh, I'm so sorry. Took the words uh, right out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, literally, you stole them from me, and now I'm sad. I'm sorry, Paul. Really, I'll oh, give it's you. okay. I'll give you candy. <laughs> Are you going to say anything or no? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's, it, it, yeah, your turn now. Dave Mustaine, please sign my flying V. That's all. Can you yes. s- Wait, can you sign my guitar too? It's not a flying V. <laughs> it's it's a really cheap guitar. It's a lesser <laughs> Paul. Yeah, it is a lesser Paul. Um, <laughs> but can you sign it? Please. Thank you, Dave Mustaine. If you, you see this, we love you. We know you're watching, <laughs> dude. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining me today and making this podcast episode even more enjoyable and, and so fun to have um, with you guys. All right, thank you guys. Uh, thank you to Lily once again. Thank yes. you to Ava. Ava, Ava, Ava. Ava, Ava. Ava. Well, yeah. thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. 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 That was terrifying. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> Okay, back to the yeah, original we segment. You can't time. silence me! It should just be all three of us just going. No, thank you. I don't want to partake in that activity. Why not? <laughs> what? Get out of here! Whoa. Get out! I don't oh my Whoa, calm down! <laughs> calm down! Calm down! Oh. Topic, is Topic is mewing. I'm going to redo just all of it. <laughs> Whoa. Is that the right there camera? We oh. There we go. Which one is um, that? Today's okay. topic in this program, and we hope you enjoy the episode. You're such a millennial. Po- Hi, I'm Lucy Preet, and you're watching, watching Disney, Disney Channel. Channel. This episode has gone off the rails.